Well, yeehaw, partners, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh, oh, shit. Is this the point where we just kill Uncle Jason? I think so. Uh, is this just, just where we're like, go up and like, well, you know, take him out on a boat. Look, Fredo. <laughs> time, I hope to find you work. Show him the rabbits. What? Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? <laughs> the fuck? He's out here getting high. <laughs> Did you get into my DMT? <laughs> he just smoking. I turned this can of beans into a pipe. <laughs> you know, I've been saving that DMT for when Joe Rogan comes over. <laughs> you know, Jason, a lot of people in the Red Dead Redemption series have these very, like, philosophical ideas about, like, the nature of man. And meanwhile, they're all just kind of a bunch of scumbags. So. <laughs> Farming? Ranching? Planting something? <laughs> Only thing that this land's good for plant is hemp, raisin. hemp, raisin. Yeah, so so cows, sheep, goats. You know, goats is easy. The Jersey Devil. They taste all chupacabra. Like poppies, and poppies grow everywhere. Cows. Yeah, sheep then. You want to? Wait, did he just say goats taste horrible? The goats don't taste horrible. Cabrito's good. Yeah, it is. A born dumbass. What do you think this is? Seventeen eighty-five. <laughs> no, I don't understand that. <laughs> This is the industrial age. Wait, now we gotta buy a barn? That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. So, uh, my, uh, my brother. Uh huh. You build uh, a barn? Buy my, a pre made barn? My brother, uh, married into a, a, a very large, uh, Hispanic family. Okay. Uh, Texan, you know, a lot, many of them, the although, world. grew up in Mexico. Right. And, uh, you know, big family. And oh, okay. uh, really into uh, like backyard picnics and cookouts and stuff like that. Yeah, which my brother is too. He's like, oh yeah, stand around, drink beer, and eat food. Yes, yeah, let's, let's let's do that. Yeah, I brought uh, a bag of Doritos. Let's do this. Yeah. Uh, so one time he calls me and he's drunk and he's at a party and he's like, and it's like in the middle of the day. And he's all, I'm at this, uh, I'm at this barbecue. I'm like, why are you talking so? Low? Just I'm at this barbecue and I'm freaking out. There was this goat. And they just slit that fucking goat's throat just right in front of me. Yeah. They just, they just killed this fucking goat, dude, and I'm freaking <laughs> out. <laughs> was he on DMT? No. I'm like, he was just really drunk, and they just he was not expecting them to kill this goat uh -huh. in front of him. And when they did, he was like, oh, uh, he was not ready for that. Yeah. And uh, later I called to check on him. I'm like, hey, what's up? He's like, hey. This like, goat's amazing. It's fucking delicious. <laughs> I don't know what I was freaking out about. Uh I, you ever drink fresh goat blood? <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> Spicy. So throw a little uh, I'm into Satan now. A little Cholula in there, and uh, <laughs> yep, you little, were right. A little vodka. <laughs> uh, oh, I forgot to tell you. Uh oh. Since last we recorded, yeah, just drink an entire bottle of Cholula. Uh, no, but I was declared an enemy of Christianity. What? <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. It's about time. My uh, petition's been in waiting for years that's, now. That's what my brother said. They were like, I'm actually really surprised it took this long. Well, how is that? Who, who so, declared such a thing? You know, I got a chip in my hand, uh -huh. right? I got that chip in my hand for Modern Rogue. Okay. Right now, if you scan it with your phone, it will make your phone start playing Slayer's Raining Blood. Right. It's a true story. You can find it. Go to Modern Rogue. I wasn't sure whether you're talking about the just the Frito that you normally have. <laughs> Oh, you. Yeah. You just keep asking me about bean dip. Yeah, I have, but. I have a chip in my hand. It's, 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 I carry it with me for emergencies. It's chili cheese flavored. It's chili uh, cheese, yeah, chili cheese Frito. It's only one. Uh, okay, so, and, and does that does that make you an enemy of the Lord? Uh, apparently, I that according to some fundamentalist Christians, uh -huh. that is me uh, uh, taking the mark of the beast. <laughs> <laughs> Are these the people that believe if you get a tattoo that you're going to hell? Uh, I, you know, I don't know. Because you've desecrated your temple. Uh, I, I didn't. I didn't engage in uh, in any discourse with them. I just thought, you know what? I don't. I, I mean this. I don't want to malign their religious beliefs. Uh huh. Even if they were coming at me with pitchforks with their religious beliefs. Okay. By. The hundreds. Uh-huh. By the hundreds, Jeff. What, what, wait, they were coming at you by the hundreds? Yes. Comment after comment after comment. Oh! Uh, you oh, sold your soul. Internet Christians. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you sold your soul. Uh-huh. You, you've betrayed Jesus. Or it, it was intense. Right. A lot of them. Let me ask you a question, though. If you changed your... 
if you change the chip to play like like um uh like bible hymns or yeah, something maybe then wouldn't wouldn't you be like then are you like a super christian we'll see but like, they they were mad though before they knew about the slayer uh-huh. They're mad that you just had something that implanted I had in your body. That I took a chip into my hand. What about people that get like... Uh, and then I was promoting it, which it wasn't. Like a metal rod in your leg because you broke your leg in a car accident? Are you also going to hell? Well, see, now they can track me, though. This was what a lot of the people were saying. Now I can be tracked. <laughs> which is not true. That doesn't sound true. It's not how it works. That's not true. Like, but okay, again, but if, if it is true, Jason, can you tell me how to do it? Because I want to know when you're going to get to my house and I just yeah. pull up a little thing and it's like... Beep, 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 beep. Oh, there he is. People be like, what's that? Oh, like, he's at Wiener Schnitzel. That's my Murphy detector. Yeah. Uh, I'll follow you. Wait, where are we going? Uh, Paint we're, doing, sky. we're doing some. We're doing I, something. I forgot what we're doing because you were know. an enemy of Christianity. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but a lot of people are really mad about this, and I didn't want to mock them or whatever, and like, eh, blah, blah, blah. Is it okay if I mock them? <laughs> you, can, you can mock away, sure. It was just my. Mock, mock, mock. But, mock, mock, mock. But no, many people I told, they were just like, yeah. Yeah, you. Uh, what the fuck? What GPS? What are you doing? You're like, yeah, you're an enemy of Christianity. We know this. What's what? And I am. I'm not. Uh -huh. I'm really not. <laughs> That's just what an enemy of Christianity would say. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. just what a man who's made a deal with the devil would say. He'd say, I love God. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm and, totally not here to destroy the world. <laughs> and, yeah. And one of my brothers was like. Yeah, don't tell them about Dungeons and Dragons. I'm like, oh, that's a good point. <laughs> or Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah. Or I don't know. Video games. Uh, horror movies. Yeah. yeah. Uh, spicy is, food. Like, they didn't see any of the shelves on my, my book. Or any of the books on my shelves. Yeah, don't let them read your book. <laughs> or, or, yeah. It's like, but what about the vampires and the like, werewolves? Yeah, but we, you know, it's like... I wish they'd kind of. I wish they would read Black Goat Motorcycle Club and like stage a protest. Oh yeah, like this is that, satanic. You get that dogma boost. That's right. Yep. Have you thought about hiring the Westboro Baptist Church to just stand outside of your house and be like, I know, and then I it just should. says God hates Jason yeah. on their big side. But it's like, <laughs> man, you guys are pissed off about the chip. Like, you don't know wait, half wait, of it. Wait, do you start looking into me? <laughs> <laughs> it's like then you're gonna. Send people to my house to invite me to lock-ins. Well, you know, Jason, stuff, which is actually something that happened. I don't know if you know this, but um, uh, the most popular video that's ever existed on all of Rage Select is a Gundam video that Michael <laughs> and I recorded three months ago. For some reason, I don't know what it is, but um, Gundam's cool. And like, you're an enemy of Christianity. Apparently, I'm an enemy of like people who like certain Gundam shows because I was like, nah, not into it. Don't really like it. And they're just like, you shut your fucking mouth. And I'm like, <laughs> you anti-Gundam bigot. I was like, no, I don't. I just don't like a TV show. It's like, whore. <laughs> <laughs> Soldier sold to not liking Gundam. They were pissed? <laughs> oh, yeah. They were um, like, uh, Jason, express an, uh, 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 express an opinion on the internet, and somebody's going to be mad at you about that. You'd be like, you know what I like? Gushers. And somebody's going to have a big problem with that. Or you can say, you know what I don't like? Gushers. <laughs> and somebody's going to have a huge fucking problem with that. Like, every time I say something, make a broad generalization, there's somebody there to be like, well... I owned 40 goats when I was seven years old, and I used to put on Shakespeare in the Park with my goat troop. So what are you saying about Shakespeare and goats? And I'm like, <laughs> I was trying to make a joke, yeah. man. Like, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I got, like, one of them the other day was, uh, in this video, Jason is talking about how he doesn't like gin. But in this video from three years ago, <laughs> he's talking about how he does like gin. <laughs> Do you care to explain? <laughs> I'm, I'm picking up some serious inconsistency here, guys. And I was like, Jason, explain yourself. Like, did no. you change your mind, you flip flopper? <laughs> yeah. And I was just like, oh, you believe things I say. <laughs> oh, also, well, there's your problem. Also, I mean, like, you know, I liked Aqua Teen Hunger Force an inordinate amount when I was in my, like, early 20s. Oh, same. And now I can kind of take it or leave it. Like, Every so often, I'll watch a clip show of, yeah. uh, you know, Master Shake doing something. But like, 
I'm not just like, oh shit, they're bringing back Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Oh my god. Are they bringing back Aqua Teen Hunger Force? Oh, I don't know. I lost I, track when they changed the name of it like, I know. for the fourth time. They were doing all of that weird shit with it. Yeah. I, the, I don't know. the opening became like a, a fucking. Um, uh, like a Lords of Acid video or Man, something. I was crazy about Aqua Teen. Like, I was nuts about Aqua Teen. Yeah. And I, I don't know. I, it, it went through all these iterations and everything. I don't know if it's still on the air. I don't know what's going on. I'm kind of curious now. But but nobody talks about it anymore. No? Remember, everybody was nuts about Aqua Teen. Yep. Nobody talks about it anymore. Yeah. Well, YouTube. So, like, you didn't have to, like, search out a random show about nothing. There's a whole website devoted to hours and hours and hours of random shows about nothing. That's so, true. Um, the fuck are you taking me, Sadie? Aren't, I get, okay, aren't okay, uh, okay. Newgrounds, is that still around? <laughs> yes. There's a lot of pornography on Newgrounds. Wait, really? Oh, yeah. It's a porn Sex thing? Sex games. You want to see anime girls take their tops off? Newgrounds no. got you covered. Not really. Yep. I'm good. Also, Steam has you covered. Also, YouTube has you covered. Also, Pornhub has you covered. Also, everybody has you covered. So Yeah, pretty you much. Know. A friend of mine sent me uh, a picture of uh, uh, from uh, behind of Ahsoka Tano walking with two lightsabers, but she was completely nude. Uh-huh. And there's just a picture of her, her butt. And I was just like, I didn't... I started to ask, like, over text, like, why? And I'm like, no. Where? No. no. And then I was just like, I, I'm just not responding. I'm just not going to respond <laughs> what to do you, What do you say? How do yeah. you respond? Ramon Cortez! Oh, Ramon Cortez! Oh, shit! Oh, uh, get off me! I forgot the buttons, Jason! <laughs> they make us do it every time! It's my turn! I gotta have a fist fight with somebody! Oh, haha! Haha! -ha. Okay. I love that oh he God. just starts giving you the... Struggle. Just struggle. Go to sleep speech. Yep. He's like, it'll all be over soon. Which one is the punch button? Uh, That's not the punch button. Okay, uh, there's the choke is button. Is it circle? I, I think so. Oh. She oh. Just tried to kill me. What is she about right. carrying? Oh. Oh. Yeah. That's him. Man, you see people get pistol whipped in the movies all the time. Yeah. Get him to the I imagine if you get pistol whipped, you could be just wrecked for a while. Well, you're probably going to lose some teeth. Also that. Like, your teeth are probably going to fall out, so. God damn, we're going to Rhodes? Girl, can't you, like, get some fucking. It's different there now. Get some, get some jobs that are closer to where I live? Why don't we have to commute? Going to another state? Um, yeah. My men are meeting me at Newberry Creek. Cool. We'll, we're uh, going to turn you in, and then we're going to go kill all of your men. Yep. Oh, are the. Are the men here? They're at Dewberry Creek. Oh, is this Dewberry Creek? Or is this I, just a river? I think or? it's just a river. Okay. <sighs> uh, yeah. Yeah. I had, a lot of, I had a lot of fun over the last year with people trying to get me to... Uh, or, or being uh, seemingly upset with me for not being excited enough for the Final Fantasy VII remake that's coming out. And I'm like, I, I'm sorry, I just like new shit. Like, okay, Jason, I've been wanting to have this conversation for a while, and we don't have to ha go into that much. I don't like nostalgia anymore. They've worn it out on me. I'm it's starting like, to get that from like, you. Like, hey, check it out. It's a lightsaber. I'm like, cool. What else do you have? Yeah. Like, what else do you have besides that? They're bringing back Scooby-Doo, and I'm yeah. like, I don't care. I want the new shit, not the old shit. Or you go to a comic convention, and it's like, we got uh, Deadpool fighting a bunch of stormtroopers like, with a lightsaber. Nope. Not interested. Yeah. I want the new shit, not the old shit. Yeah, I can't. I can't really think of anything. Like you know what I watched recently? All of the show, The Magicians, and I was like, oh, cool. It's yeah. like Harry Potter meets Narnia, and everybody drinks and does drugs and fucks all the time. I am in, one hundred percent. I guess I'm not completely tapped on nostalgia. Yeah, uh, I'm into vaporwave. I yeah, like but, vaporwave. But see, but like that's like that on. But the, that's like a new version. That's not like when I'm talking about nostalgia. I'm talking about the idea of like, oh shit, Jason Devo's re reforming for a tour. Let's go see Devo live. No, I, mean, I like vaporwave just for the for the nostalgic feelings. It's like, oh no, this takes me back to like a very specific feeling. Yeah, very specific in like 1991. Yeah, and that I think is pretty cool. Uh, but like specific stuff, like 
you know, oh, a new Star Wars this, a new X Men that, or whatever. I'm like, all right, yeah, it's a uh, yeah. But I don't know. I mean, people are getting nostalgic for different things now, so maybe that's what it is. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe you can't uh, connect with the early 2000s nostalgia because it feels like fucking yesterday. I don't know. I've, I've, I've like. Like, let me put it like this. The first Ghostbusters movie was amazing. Yeah. Since then, they've been trying to do other stuff with Ghostbusters, and I'm like, I'd rather see effort put into doing something new instead of just continually, or like the sixth Terminator movie sure. came out, and it's like, sure. it's just Terminator over again. It's just another, there's a robot yeah. for the future, yeah. trying to kill people from the past, and mm -hmm. I'm like, just stop it. Make something else. Make something else. I got you. I don't know. Make a movie about a uh, uh, 1940s detective that has to fight a Cthulhu cult, right? Like a period piece. I'm into that. Uh, with Tom mm. Hardy mm. as a hard fight and get a big mustache, God. right? He's got to punch out these cultists. I want to see uh, it, Jeff. Yeah. Get the guy that made Mandy to do it or something you stupid are like just, that. You or, should be a producer. Like You're just saying words that make me all tingly. Yeah. Or, like... Or like a Western, you know? We haven't had a Western. I guess, what was the last Western that we had? I think uh, it was a Ballad of Buster Scruggs or something like that. Which was actually really good. I never watched it. It was good. Um, Not what I expected, but it was very good. Like, did you see um, Did you see The Kid Who Would Be King? Uh, I did not. I love that movie. It's just like, oh, we're going to take King Arthur, and then we're just going to kind of just do a kind of an updated play on it. Great. Wonderful. It's huzzah. Fantastic. I'm for it. Uh, um, yeah. Oh, so you're know. going all in on that Arthurian nostalgia. <laughs> yeah, because that's a thing. <laughs> uh, I don't know. We had a, a long time ago, a man and I did a, a sequential of the Ballad of Gay Tony uh, DLC on Patreon. Yeah. And somebody wrote in a question. They were just like, how great were the 80s? And I'm like, they sucked. I remember them. They were <laughs> terrible. Food was bad. Music was bad. Yeah. TV was bad. Movies were okay, I guess. Yeah, no, like, it's, it's weird to me what gets brought back uh, in, in waves of nostalgia. You know what? Uh, I gotta... There was a, a social theorist uh, who said that uh, uh, nostalgia <laughs> and pop culture will, <laughs> will start repeating itself in an increasing frequency yeah. and will move on to the next era faster and faster until uh, and, and that's a sign that uh, society is going to collapse. Yeah, I mean, I don't know about that. Like, you go back to the 80s and it was all 50s nostalgia, right? Yeah, like, happy you remember days that? And uh, Stand By Me and yeah. uh, the every, original It and shit like that. Yep, like, yeah, and it was very, we were very into like 50s and 60s and then, you know, and, and uh, uh, like in the early 90s it was 70s. Yep. Right? Mm -hmm. Everybody's yeah, into that the 70s. 70s show. And, and now apparently people are into the 90s and like early 2000s, which for me, I'm like, well, that was like, that was like Wednesday, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was, I don't understand how that's different. I don't know. I just like new shit, you know? Yeah. But you know what I went back and uh, watched part of recently? What's that? Charmed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. With uh, Shannon Doherty. Yeah. And uh, the other, other ladies. That shit is insane. Yeah. It's, uh, I was watching Mantis the other day. I didn't realize how bad it was. Oh, yeah. But it's real bad. <laughs> I've, uh, so I, I actually wasn't watching Mantis, but I have tried going back and watching. Uh, I loved Farscape for a lot of the 90s and sure. the early 2000s. Yeah. I can't really watch it anymore. When I go back to it, it's just a little cheesier than I remembered it. Yeah. And I can't really get over it because I feel like we've gotten better at just making dramatic shows and it sucks because i love farscape like it was a really good show but i just don't think i ever mm. want to go back and watch it again uh, i had a friend no. uh loan me like a bunch of tapes or something at one point yeah and i got a couple of episodes in and then gave them back to him and he was like oh you didn't like it i'm like we're actually not friends anymore <laughs> We we are not. Well, the first few episodes of Farscape are rough. Oh, it's, are they? It's only when you get past like it's one of those like you got to get past the middle of season and one. And this was a long yeah. time. This was like 15 years ago when I watched it. Or yeah, and I yeah, yeah. Anyway, I'm just I don't know. Like I liked Red Dead 2 and shit, but I think I would have rather played that uh, that 80s Cold War game that they were making for, that Rockstar was making for a long time, like uh, The Agent or whatever. Oh, I kind of remember. Uh, they announced for the like PS3, that. and then they finally just, like, uh, like canceled eventually. Yeah. Like, I would be cool with playing an 80s uh, Soviet, 
like Cold War kind of open world action spy and adventure type of thing. That like, sounds great. Sounds great. That sounds great. Sounds great. Yeah. Uh, no, it's it's always interesting to me what nostalgia chooses to bring back to the forefront and what it leaves behind. Yeah. Like, you know, in the '80s resurgence uh, a while back, everyone was really getting into the '80s, mm-hmm. but. Nobody gave a, a shit while back. I feel like that's still going on. They I, just announced Stranger Things like, season four. Oh yeah, that's a good and, like, point. Like in huh? chapter two was it's last still going year. on. Yeah. Okay, it's still going on to some to some degree, but they haven't brought back Huey Lewis in the news. Where was Huey Lewis's big resurgence? Didn't fucking happen. Sure. They didn't. Uh, uh, <laughs> hair metal largely still ignored right. in the eighties resurgence. What the fuck? Yeah. No. No love for rat. Uh, poison, Cinderella. Thought, didn't we? Didn't we do that in the early two thousands? Did we? Didn't every eighties band like have a comeback tour in the no. early two thousands? No. Oh, well, kind of. Yeah. But I mean, but I mean, you never hear Huey Lewis on the radio anymore, and it's not okay. <laughs> It's not okay. <laughs> you, Man, so I went back. Jason, I, I don't know. I can show you later how to use your phone to listen to Huey Lewis whenever you want to. I know. I, I you did. You just do that. I did the other day. You just I put a Spotify playlist with every song Huey Lewis has ever I, played. That's what I was listening to. Uh, <laughs> so I was. That's I was legitimately what I was listening to. I mean, like, day. and the thing is that I I don't have a I don't have a problem with people liking old stuff. It's just. I feel like the 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 ratio to like remakes and sequels and reboots yeah. to like new original properties has become a little out of whack. How long have have has this conversation been going on? Has it been going on since the eighties? Okay, uh, okay. Like t- today's conversation, or like how long have we been having the general conversation? The general conversation of, of I'm nostalgia. Sick of remakes. Um, where are you going? Oh, I don't know. I thought she wanted me to go down there because it says too. like the red red thing. Don't go there. Oh. Oh, are we like wanted? Oh, never mind. Sorry, Sadie, I got lost. <laughs> yeah, I just got confused. There was well, I, I think it's been happening all the time. The thing is that recently I feel like there's just been an uptick because because it costs so much to make media and everybody's trying to stand out. So any advantage that they can get where like they tie something to something that you already know about yeah. as opposed to just making like a new thing. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. So and uh, which even like I was talking about magicians and magicians is totally based on a book series yeah. that everybody really likes. No, so. there, there's a story out there of someone who they had a great pitch and uh, the studios wanted to make this movie and I can't remember what it was, but uh, they said, "Yeah, we just really wish it was based on a pre-existing property." Right. And so these guys left, turned their screenplay into a comic book, and then turned that comic book. Into a screenplay. <laughs> and they're and, like, look, and, look, it's yeah. based on something. <laughs> and then they got a movie deal. Yeah. That's from, from yeah. Uh, it's, blah, blah. Who cares? Yeah. It's like you've you've tapped all of the the stuff that's worth tapping for the most part. There's still some things you haven't mind, but you probably shouldn't. Let's just move on. Because most of the time when you've tapped stuff for nostalgia, it sucked. And shoot well. So yep. let's just let's just do new things. I, let's let's just do new things. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. Uh, well, that happened. Oh shit! Oh, probably should have been start with these guys. Ooh, blammo. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just I, and and you know what? It's all it's, it's also entirely possible. I've never really been the biggest fan of of the reboot or the bringing it back or like even the adaptation of like a well known book. Like there was a time when I was into that, mm-hmm. but like aren't they making a new Dune? Is there oh, somebody yeah. out there that wants to make Dune again? And I'm just yeah. like, you know what? I'll just read Dune if I want to experience the story of Dune. Like I don't need a movie. Um, I don't yeah. need you to like try for the fifth time. Uh, so here's the thing. I don't want to read Dune. Yeah. But I'm kind of curious. I would like to see this take because having recently seen the David Lynch adaptation, I'd like to see something that's not completely fucking insane. Well, the story of Dune is completely fucking insane. Oh, so okay. like, there, there's not going to be. It's about like, you know, a bunch of space, ho- like these weird medieval space houses that fly around through space by the use of drug addicted fish people. And then there's a bunch of 
like space witches that are trying to control the future and a bunch of people that live on this planet with the sandworm. I mean, like, the, the elevator pitch for Dune is is insane to start with. Uh, like, you make it sound way cooler than whoop. I ever thought. <laughs> okay. Um, the main problem with Dune is that, uh, like a lot of Frank Herbert's books, it's about what's going on inside of people's heads. Yeah, and, so and like, that's what blew my mind when I was uh, watching the David Lynch adaptation. And it was like, wait, just everybody has internal dialogue? Yep. They're just going to play yep. in a close-up? Yep. That was a choice that you made? Yep. That's crazy. Well, because otherwise, nobody, I mean, like, I guess you could rewrite the whole thing to be like, we're going to have dialogue where somebody is like, this is why I am doing the thing. But so much of it is the, are these weird, like, you know, plots and plans. Interior and kind of monologue. Interior, like, what this person is up to. And so much of the story hinges on that stuff that, you know, uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't really know how you do that without it. But um, I really wish they would make uh, make some other, Fra I wish people knew about other Frank Herbert books. Because I'm a big fan of Frank Herbert. So, like the Desadai Experiment or the Whipping Star about the saboteur extraordinaire who's uh, an inner... Uh, inner uh, uh, planetary space agent whose only job is to sabotage governments that get too big because that's the only way to keep them from becoming like monarchies and theocracies. So there's like an independent space agency of people that just do nothing but like grind the gears of government to a halt on planets. Um, that that's, sounds kind of interesting. It's kind of amazing. There's one about these guys that are on like a spaceship and the spaceship breaks down. And the only way they're going to get back to Earth is that uh, is by creating an AI for the first time. But it turns out that they aren't actually on a spaceship. The whole thing is just like a, a, a fooled you to have them make AIs because they've been trying to make AIs. And they're putting these people in the situation where these smart people only have one way out of this, this problem. Um, Frank Herbert was a fucking nut, man. That was shit with the 70s. There's a lot of a lot wow. of drugs and shit involved, and um, he's pretty amazing. I've actually though never read any of the sequel books. Of uh, Dune? Yeah, the stuff that his son wrote. Oh, uh, how many? Oh, so how many Dune books did he uh, do? Five, I believe. Okay. It's Dune Children. Uh, no, Dune Heretics Children God Emperor. Uh, and then there's one other one, and then Chapter House, and then Frank Herbert. And then the thing is that Dune ends on like a cliffhanger. Um, and he died before he could finish it. So, oh, oh, I wasn't supposed to kill that guy. Apparently, <laughs> he's talking about Dune, man. Uh, oh. I killed Cortez. Oh, she this whole thing has been about him getting broken out by his buddies. I like the way that just I'm like, I don't know. It's just fucking Tuesday, man. We're just uh, it's more Red Dead. Here's another bunch of fucking greasy outlaws. Kill all of these hundred people. Yep. So I don't know. I there's a lot of like crazy '70s sci-fi. What's that one where it's um, God? What the hell is the name of that one book that was like uh, where the the it's like about this guy that that goes off into the cosmos and the whole thing is that at the end of the book it turns out that he like traveled back in time and the guy that set his fate into motion was him. And, oh, yeah. Uh, Classic. Yeah. Oh, was, uh, uh, was that Frank Herbert as well? Or? No, no, no. That was like... Um, <sighs> I don't remember who that was. Uh, a really famous author who wrote Catch-22. Joseph Heller? It wasn't... No, it wasn't him. I don't remember who it was. I don't even remember. I, I've read so much sci-fi in my time that... Have you read uh, The Star's My Destination? Uh, maybe? Also known as Tiger Tiger in the UK. Maybe? It's uh, by Alfred Bester. Yes, I believe I have. That's pretty genius. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's a, there's a lot of cool stuff out there. If you guys want to do 90s nostalgia, make a fucking Neuromancer movie. Neuromancer could totally be a movie. And no, everybody's just like fucking forgot about uh, William Gibson, the father of yeah. fucking cyberpunk. Um, yeah, there we go. Neuromancer, Snow Crash. Is that ever happening? Yeah. Every now and then you hear about a Snow Crash movie, and it's like, well, make it while it's still at least a little relevant. It's like the Akira movie. Oh, yeah. Or like a Cowboy Bebop movie or something. Did, well, that's, um, that's actually happening, though, right? I'll, like, be I'll believe that shit when I fucking see like, it. I thought they were filming the Cowboy yeah. Bebop movie. Uh, well, is it like a Netflix thing now or something? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. They got John Cho in it as Jet or as uh, 
Spike. Uh, uh, Spike. Yeah. Uh, not Jet Black. I'll, I'll, I'll believe it when I see it. Like, yeah. Uh, um, it's like the dumb Akira thing where you've heard just for a million years. Uh, aim at Ramon Cortez's boat capture him alive. Oh. Because right I already done that. What about like a movie about like one of those like time loop movies, but it's about a cowboy. And there's like they never explain the time loop like in Groundhog Day, but it's like a guy and like his family gets kidnapped or something. And he's got a like bone tomahawk meets like Red Dead, but with a time loop thing going on. I don't know. Just make something up, man. <laughs> oh, what's with this music? How many gun belts do you need, Ramon? You know, I feel like John Marsden should and Sadie Adler should uh, invest in like a set of handcuffs. <laughs> Because they're always like hog tying oh, yeah. people. It's got to be an easier way. <laughs> now I'm just imagining that maybe the some duct tape. John Marsden infomercial. Has this ever happened to you? <laughs> you tie a man, you hog tie a man, and then as you're riding a horse, uh, his ropes come undone, and then you got to chase him down and kill all his friends in a gully by a river. There's got to be a better way. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like uh, that the you know the infomercial thing where they do where people do stuff really poorly <laughs> yeah. on purpose. Yes. It's just John Marston with a bunch of rope tied around him. He's like, I don't know how this even happened. Sounds like a modern rogue episode. Well, come on down to Gary Mars Pan's Shackle Emporium. We got so many different shackles. We got silver shackles if you got a werewolf problem. We got uh, That's bad, wooden shackles. Oh shit! Yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. I stay well clear. Oh, they have foreshadowing. Yeah. Sadler. All right. Well, uh, Jason, I think we're out of time. That's it. Now we solved all of the nostalgia problems in the world. It's done, right? They all yeah, we fixed it. They all watch Red Dead, and now they're gonna stop doing that shit. Um, Use some exercise. Whoop. All right. Anyway, uh, <laughs> patreon.com forward slash rage uh, Help us out. Kick us some bucks. In return, we'll kick bonus videos. Uh, also, Discord server access, um, as well as back uh, access to all of our previous videos. And there's like, oh, good Lord Almighty. Malibu! Malibu! Sorry, that was on me a little. Okay, Ramon. Can you get up on it? Ram Ramon? Can I? I can't. Okay, I'm gonna get on the horse. And Please hopefully don't, not run don't over. run over him. Okay, and then we gotta get off the horse. Anyway, <laughs> yes, uh, patreon.com forward slash rage select. Also, uh, youtube.com forward slash modern rogue. Uh, go check it out. Jason and Brian doing the stuff. Um, yeah. And go buy Black Oak Motorcycle Club. Send it to a Hollywood producer. If you need a movie or a TV show or like uh, a thing, I don't know. What am I? I'm not like your agent or anything, so it's okay. Say, I need all the help I can get. I like Black Oak Motorcycle Club. You guys should go read it and buy it and l live it and write songs about it. Make animated uh, the uh, claymation shorts send about me, it. Send me your Black Goat inspired art. That'd yeah, be, <laughs> that'd be weird and awesome. I like it. Oh God, what? What? What do you want? Anyway, we'll be back next week. I don't know what it wants from mount, me anymore. Mount your horse. I, I'm on it already. Is this just my? Oh God. All right. Well, bye. 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 <laughs>